Well, hello there, my friends, and welcome back to some more of the operational art of war for... You know what Winston Churchill said about hell? If you're in hell, keep going. Uh, and that's pretty much what we have to do here. We have to keep going, despite the fact that there are so many enemies here um, trying to stop our advance. And, of course, we are at Grozny with a few of our troops, able to liberate um, some of our men. But overall, there is so much to do, guys. And we just realized that this campaign, I thought it was eight turns. It's not eight turns. I think it's something like 64 turns. We're playing the entire Chechen War. So if you guys like this series, please make sure to let us know. Otherwise, um, I don't know if I can make through the whole thing. It, it's, it's a massive, massive series. Here we go, look at that nice little attack there, being able to dislodge some Chechens. And obviously my main goal is to get to Grozny. I mean, if we can get to Grozny, that's going to be amazing. And actually, we got, we've actually encircled the Chechens here. I don't think we need that many guys to defeat them, so I'm just going to send in a few. Uh, this way we can send the rest to Grozny or to combat any enemy elements along the way. So I'm going to go ahead and group move here. I like how, if you guys see that, um, it did not take the unit that was attacking. So even if I said group move, even though that unit was in the same stack, it didn't attack. So really cool stuff there by the developer to be able to show us that if you go ahead and initiate an attack, you're not going to have to worry about the whole group move thing. You know, we know that that unit is in an attack phase. So here we go. Nice attack there. The enemy aircraft did attack us. Apparently the Chechens still have a few bases, but as you can see, the good news is we're literally wiping out entire units. So we have to keep on moving, um, and I'm going to keep moving with our Spetsnaz units as well. Come on, boys. Guys, if you like this series and if you like the operational Art of War 4, please make sure to check out our playlist. Share our playlist with anybody you can see. Uh, anybody that likes strategy games, come on, guys. Let's get some more people into strategy games. We have so many other conflicts that we could play in the operational Art of War 4. It's just, it's like, it's almost a gaming sin for us not to share. So please share the video and be like, guys, gotta get this game. Um, and maybe eventually I'll do a PBEM here with somebody. So as you can see, this is pretty good. Uh, we're actually managing to break through this hilly area. And of course, it's totally useless to stay here. So we're continuing forward with a lot of men, as you can see. Um, I want to make sure to make it through here and continue to Grozny. We have broken through the actual city center, but I'm honestly not sure um, if we can take the city itself before our men get killed. I do think we can take the city for sure. In terms of taking it before our men get killed, it's another story. Let's go ahead. Nice. Severeskaya, you will not take our town. They're still fighting. Very stubborn Chechen rebels here. Alright, let's keep moving these guys. Of course, we've got our missile division. It's actually a guards rifle division, but we also have some missiles here in the same stack. And let's take a look and see where Grozny is. Wow, look at that. Unbelievable. So, massive stack near Grozny. Uh, but we do have Gudan, which is still under our control. And I'm going to use the Spetsnaz to ensure this remains under our control, no matter what happens. Ah, chance of success is very poor. Okay, hold on. I've got an idea. Relax, guys. Don't worry. We're going to have to defend Gudan. This is one of the most important areas we do have. Send in the Spetsnaz. We're, gonna send, we're even going to send in the helicopter crew at this point. Security divisions and some support. Of course, it's going to be time extended because these guys are already providing support elsewhere. But as you can see, our chance of probability is excellent. We also have some enemy mafia units sort of just parading around the place. But I'm not going to do anything about them right now. In fact, I'm going to move this unit back. I'm going to be smart about this and join this attack. So let's have the Spestinus units join this attack against the Abhaz Battalion. So this is clearly an important actual enemy uh, force. That being said, Grozny, we're totally cut off. I do kind of want to fight it out, but I think the best thing to do is dig in. So let's just go ahead, let's dig in. The enemy's of course going to try to destroy us. All we can try to do is wait for reinforcements, and I'm not sure if they're going to arrive in time. I feel really bad for the people trapped here. We are going to send a few guys in though. We have quite a few units that can make it there right now, so 
I'm gonna try to go there, but at the same time, I just don't think we can provide much support. Unfortunately, just as in history, I think the Grozny garrison is doomed. So we'll see what happens. We also got some of our Dagestani troops trapped behind enemy lines here. I'd love to try to save them, but we've saved most of them, but I think that um, that tank battalion is unfortunately probably gone. Let's go ahead and move forward. Let's see if we can hit this area and see how it goes. I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna throw in all this support despite the fact it's gonna extend the time, and they're not gonna be able to give us our full support, but some missile support in this particular attack would be helpful. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Of course, the enemy's gonna try to hit us with their aircraft. Unbelievable. Come on, boys. Nice. We also got some air support here. Uh, despite the fact that, honestly, right now, the enemy air support is doing better than ours is. I'm not sure what that's about, but we'll find out eventually. Uh, okay, 20% of our turn remains, and then we have to turn it over to the Chechens. And as you can see here, we did some amazing attacks. Over here, our federal forces killed every single Chechen warrior in this army. It wasn't a very big army, but to be honest, it's great to get a few kills. Unfortunately, we did lose a few guys, but that's sort of par for the cause. Over here, unfortunately, the Chechens completely stopped our attack. Um, I don't think they lost a single unit. Unbelievable. This was quite even, honestly. We lost some men, for sure, as you can see there. And you can always pause the screen to review that. Um, but if we look at the Chechens, they lost quite a lot of men as well. So, this is basically the end of our turn. Um, and there's not much else we could do. I do want to take Sedovo. But really, I just want to destroy this Chechen garrison. So we're going to go ahead and send in our Spetsnaz forces. And of course, in the war, unfortunately, the Spetsnaz were known to be pretty brutal. Um, really not caring about civilian casualties, etc. So we are going to send everybody in since it is the end of our turn. I, I want all the support we can get. The success is now excellent with all that missile support, of course. But I still can't break out of this area here. I'm going to try. Even if it's considered a tough attack, I don't want to be stuck in this pocket with our tanks. And we'll get some support here as well. Again, guys, it's the end of our turn. Otherwise, I would never try something like this. And in Grozny, just stay dug in, boys. Definitely try and attack here. Get the security divisions in on this. Military police. Massive support. I'm not sure if it's going to work out, but we're going to try, guys. And the Spetsnaz, guys. The ch probability of success is very poor, but we've had this happen before, and we've done very, very well. So let's see what happens. Okay, everybody else is stuck, of course. We've got to wait a bit. They have to end their combat phase, and then we can start moving them. Just want to make sure nobody else is coming from Dagestan. We really need some support um, or some reinforcements, honestly. Uh, so we'll go ahead, end the turn, and I believe we're turning it over to the Chechens here. So the enemy fighters are hitting our irregular troops, and they basically support the, uh, the Russian government. Uh, which is interesting, and um, it looks like we did break through that city just barely, or at least we caused some troops to retreat. We also opened up um, a nice way for our tanks to pass through, so this turn actually worked out for us a little bit, and clearly our Spetsnaz troops completely routed that unit, and look at that, that's beautiful, look at that, guys. I mean, the Spetsnaz absolutely destroyed the enemy. Uh, there's no doubt about it. They did hold the field in a few fights, this one, for instance, there was actually sort of similar losses on both sides, but we did a really good job. And overall, we can see that our Spetsnaz guys are definitely capable of taking the location. Now, of course, it's the Chechens' turn. Let's see what they're going to do. And, of course, they still have those helicopters. That's really frustrating. They just took Dolinsky again. We're going to have to retake it, or else we're not going to get much supply in. That's what they do, guys.
circling around Rodney is continuing, and it doesn't look like they're going to attack this turn necessarily, but they're just basically cutting us off. I mean, every turn that our men are surrounded is obviously a turn wasted. actually hitting our Spetsos units, and they're actually, it looks like their men are attacking our Spetsos units. So, we might be at a loss here with even the Spetsnaz. There's some issues here, and it looks like they're setting up their security forces around our Dagestani troops. I hope the Dagestanis can hold out. Intense, guys. Intense. So the bombard from the enemy actually managed to take out 22% of some of our units. It's now jumping back to our side, the federal forces, and there's so much we can do at this point. I want to see the actual full map. So this is sort of the full map of Chechnya right now. As you can see in the north of the country, maybe a third of the country, we control the area, um, but the rest of the country is under control of the Chechens. And we have a lot of work to do. So make sure, guys, if you like this series, Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, but also hit the playlist. If you guys are new to the series, check out what we've done so far. I mean, there's been so much at this point done by our by our actual forces that, um, you know, we really just need to keep on going and hopefully attain a victory in this war. Uh, this was a war the Russians lost, and I want to try to turn that around. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, you're the best, and have an awesome, awesome day.